All right, everybody, so it is officially day 26 on the keto diet. Uh, I didn't get them away myself this morning. I know I told you guys last time that I wanted to step on the scale today because I didn't step on the scale yesterday. And it's actually kind of, it's actually been a while since I stepped on the scale. Uh, it's been about a week and a half. Now, last time I did step on the scale, I was down 12 pounds. Um, I could pretty much feel that I probably went down a little bit more, uh, but I left my scale at my parents' house. So hopefully next time, we can get on the scale. And I know I could easily just say, okay, I can go to my parents, go pick it up later on. But I am a firm believer in picking, uh, or well, I'm, in a fir I'm a firm believer in weighing yourself first thing in the morning, not when you have food in, not later on in the day. Do it right in the morning so you're consistent. And that's what I've been doing. So next time, I promise, guys, I will weigh myself. But here is the check in. I'll uh, feel a little leaner. Ads are coming in just a slightly a little bit more. Um, as you can see, Okay. Again, the lighting in here is kind of like washed out, but here it is. Arms get a little more uh, defined uh, when I'm working out. I can tell now, like I'm, my the veins are starting to come out, getting a little more veiny, and more vascular, uh, and that's just from you know being depleted, uh, body fat's coming down, and everything else. But this is the check-in, guys. Oh. But we still have a long way to go, guys. We still have a lot more weight to drop. Uh, I know a lot of people are probably watching this like, what, when you're already in good shape, what are you trying to lose weight? No, I don't mean weight. We have a lot more body fat to lose. So today we're going to discuss a lot of things, a lot of questions that I get on my Snapchat. So this is going to be a good video. So everybody just sit back, relax, and enjoy vlog number eight. What's up everybody? So talking to you guys outside, man. It's a beautiful day here in Texas. January, sun's out. I'm just not a cloud in the sky. It feels amazing. But I want to take this time and talk to you about a certain topic that I've been getting a lot of questions about. And it's a really good one. So I've been getting a lot of snaps, a lot of emails on how to start the keto diet. They're like, hey goody, I want to start the keto diet, but you know, how do I get started? Do I just like slowly cut carbs? Do I jump right in? Do I slowly increase my fats? Um, you know, do I slowly bring my proteins down? And look, I say this all the time, everybody's different, so there's there's no right answer. But since you are asking me, let me tell you what I do and what I would recommend. So for anybody that's doing the keto diet, I recommend that you just jump right in. Just, just jump right in. Just go completely, just cut the carbs, up the fat, you know, bring down the protein, and just see how your body reacts, see whether you like it, see whether you like the foods on keto diet, see if you, if this is a diet that you think you can probably maintain. It's all in your head. I Personally, I don't think it's a hard diet to do, um, but it's all in your head. Like It's your choice. People are so addicted to carbs and they're so addicted to sugars and, and whatnot. Um, can you give them up? Absolutely you can, but will you give them up? So pretty much you have to decide, can you give them up and will you give them up? Once you decide that, then you can start the keto diet. And you know, a lot of people are saying, hey, what can I eat? And for people who are very familiar with the keto diet that watch the channel, I do apologize if this uh, message is kind of repetitive or if you guys already know this information. But keto diet, no carbs. When I say no carbs, I don't absolutely mean zero amount of carbs. You can only pretty much have about 25 to 30 grams of net carbs. Now, what are net carbs? Net carbs are carbs like your true carbs like you don't count fiber uh some people don't count alcohol sugar i don't i just kind of stay away from alcohol sugar so i don't even like to like just even bring that up but 
anything that has fiber, don't count that. So if you're eating something that has 10 grams of carbs but has seven grams of net carbs, then you really only technically had three grams of carbs and that you should only count that. So if you're using MyFitnessPal, it doesn't like take it away from your, uh, your, your total calories for the day. You gotta mentally do that. Okay, like say, okay, I have 45 grams of carbs, but I have 15 grams of fiber, so I, I hit 30, I'm good for the day. Um, so you still gotta eat vegetables. Uh, you just gotta stay away from fruits, guys. I get a lot of people say, hey, I, I can do the keto diet. Can I eat apples? I can eat strawberries. Like, no, you cannot eat fruits. Most fruits you cannot eat because they're just packed with sugar. You gotta stay with like your basic grains, celery, broccoli, um, spinach, cauliflower, Cabbage. Uh, cabbage is a little higher in, in carbs, but it's still pretty good, um, and you can still have uh, you can still have it, just you know, in moderation. Um, then when it comes to protein, you can't really you can eat chicken breast, but I recommend having it with skin. And even so, I kind of stay away from chicken breast just because it's too high in protein and not enough fats. But you can eat salmon, you can eat beef, macadamia nuts almonds, avocados, beef jerky. Be careful with beef jerky because beef jerky, is some, a lot of people make it with sugar, so you gotta be careful with that. People are so scared of the word fat that they don't, uh, they think that if they eat fat, they're gonna get fat, and that couldn't be further from the truth. So, again, start the keto diet, just jump right in, see if you can do it, see if you can maintain it, then know what you can and what you cannot eat. Can't have fruits, can't have sugar. Uh, just pretty much eat the green green basic vegetables meats all the meats eggs now this now this is a co little controversial topic a lot of ketogenic people stay away from dairy they're they, they they don't like cheese they don't like uh heavy whipping cream now me on the other hand i eat cheese i eat heavy whipping cream i eat dairy products i don't think it's a problem uh, but you'll see other people say, hey, just stay away from that. And, you know, it's it's your choice. Is it is it still keto? It, okay, put it this way. It's like almost a healthier keto, you know, if you eat, um, if you stay away from dairy. But I think you'll still get the same results that you want. You're still going to lose weight. You're still going to lose body weight. Your body will still go into ketosis and it will use uh, fats as energy. Another healthier way to go about eating your fats and protein is grass-fed beef. Uh, you know, a lot of people say stay away from processed uh, meats. I do agree with that um but not everybody can afford the you know the pricey uh grass-fed uh beef free-range chickens free-range eggs and all that so it's a little more expensive if you can afford it definitely go for it sometimes i can't always afford it and i'm at heb and i'm like look there's a great deal on 80 20 ground beef i'm gonna buy it instead of this you know three times as much grass-fed beef now is it better for you to get the grass-fed beef yeah it, it probably is and you might see a, a slight uh, slightly better results getting that healthier uh, fats. That's how you start the keto diet. At least that's my opinion. Uh, just jump right in, guys. And if you have any questions, hit me up in the uh, comment section below. I'd love to answer you guys. Gonna finish this keto coffee. Enjoy this day. Macros here at the bottom for this coffee. I did not have heavy whipping cream. That's the only thing this thing is missing. But other than that, it's pretty damn good. Pretty damn delicious. See you all next clip. Alright. They were all parked in the middle of the road. Alright guys, so as you can see, uh, here at Freebirds, on that Freebird bandwagon, because I am currently in Austin, uh, got me some guac, sour cream, chicken, steak, queso, mixed cheese, lettuce, and then I also got some like jalapeno uh, like sauce that he said to try out that supposedly is pretty good. So I'm gonna dig into this bad boy as you can see. Look at that. Can't wait. Also got my laptop out as well. So I'm gonna do some editing for this current video that you're actually watching just to try to get a little bit of a, a head start for tonight because I hate getting home and like having all this uh, footage to edit. I like to edit as I go. I actually learned that tip from Nick Bear. Uh, he edits as he goes, so whatever he records a gym clip, he'll go right into the office, start editing it, and so at the end of the day, you don't have like all this footage to put together. It's like really good. So for all you YouTubers out there, and you're doing editing at night, like of the whole day, try editing as you go if you have that opportunity, because it's really uh, convenient and it like helps uh, the time out. So, anyways, enough talking. I'm gonna dig in.
have to show yeah. going. Let me see. guys so that was a really good question by Anthony uh, pretty much he asked about the keto breath now some of you may have heard of it some of you may have not but whenever you get into deep ketosis um, they say that your breath starts to stink because your body is like it, it's creating different chemicals which is which kind of like just shows you and proves to you that you are in ketosis so it's just another form of a way to tell you yes um, that you're in ketosis but He's probably wondering, like, what, what do you do about your bad breath? Because, of course, none of us want to have bad breath. I mean, even if you're not uh, doing keto, you just having bad breath is just something you don't want to do. But what I do, if you go look at my truck, everywhere I go, I carry Listerine. There's always Listerine around me. I have some in my desk at work, and I have some in my truck. So I'm always, like, after a meal, I always, like, rinse my mouth out. Another what another way that you can go about helping the keto breath is uh, chew gum. Now you got to be very careful with gum, guys, because most gum is going to come with a lot of sugar. So make sure you get a gum that's like sugar-free or like maybe has one gram of carb. You should be okay. But that's how you get over the keto breath, and it's just another sign to show you that you're in ketosis. Alright guys, so that was actually a really good question. So, should you take multivitamin pills or should you just stick with magnesium and potassium? If it was up to me, I would say try to get all your vitamins, everything you need, potassium, magnesium, uh, multivitamins from your food that you eat. Now, if you can't do that, especially, I'll be the first one to say I can't always do that, uh, which is why I take magnesium, why I take potassium, but if I could get it from my foods, I would do it that way. But nothing wrong with taking uh, one a day men's and then taking the other things. Nothing wrong with that at all, uh, but it's best if you can do it, get it with your food. But here in the Zelka right now, as you guys can see, it's a beautiful day, man. Beautiful day here in Austin, Texas. People everywhere, dogs everywhere. Everyone's just having a good time laying out. I mean, in January, for something like this, it's just amazing. I mean, an amazing day. So, had to get out of the house and walk around. Um, but I hope that does answer your question. Try to get it from your foods. If you can't, nothing wrong with taking pills. So, you can enjoy the rest of the day. We'll see you on the way back home. Alright guys, so this is the last meal of the day, so as you can see I'm having three eggs and then I think it's about four or five ounces of summer sausage, then I got sprinkled Himalayan salt, some pepper, and that's pretty much it. Uh, macros here at the bottom. I'm not sure where my macros are told for the day. I didn't get time. I didn't have time to add up the free birds or this. So hopefully I'm in the ballpark of my macros. Um, but if you did learn anything from this video, please give it a thumbs up. It always helps out the channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, why haven't you subscribed? Come on, this is vlog number eight. I think vlog number eight. Wait, let me make sure. All right, sorry about that, guys. I just had to double check what vlog this was. So this is vlog number eight. Come on, hurry up and subscribe. So that's going to be it. We'll see you on vlog number nine. Peace.